So in the past video, um, we shown you how to clean up this uh, battery compartment. So now it's uh, cleaned and uh, um, and dried up. So what we're going to do next and uh, and uh, to figure out how to fit a new battery into this compartment. And uh, as you can see, we used to have uh, uh, four batteries here, one, two, three, four. And these batteries uh, had uh, like special dividers here to keep them separate and to keep them in place. So what we're going to do uh, next is to remove those dividers again. One, two, three, four. And uh, we'll just sew them off, just these dividers. This is not going to cause any problem and those dividers really not uh, supporting uh, the, the, the frame or the structure of the golf cart. So I'm going to use a selecting multi-tool to remove these dividers. And um, uh, I think it should be pretty easy, but uh, let's see how easy it is. <laughs> So we vacuumed uh, the area and what I did is I actually, um, uh, uh, you know, create, like circled the, 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 the bottom of the battery and uh, now I can kind of figure out where the battery is going to go in and uh, try to fit it in. So this is how, how it is going to be approximately. So and. Uh, what we need to do is we really have battery mounts on both sides here. So what we need to do is we need to fill in these two spaces. This uh, something like uh, wood pieces uh, uh, because we don't have any special brackets. Uh, some, some battery kits do come with uh, brackets for different models of golf, golf, golf carts. But uh, in our case it is just a... Uh, battery with a few components so this is what i uh, created <laughs> it looks a little bit fancy it took some time to fit those in and, and by the way this is how they fit in so they are perfectly flat with the surface so battery would not have any problem sitting in here in the in the middle just like uh, that so and uh, uh, but we're not going to put battery just in because we have a few other steps to do before that a reason is that if we put battery in right now we'll have a limited access to other components and specifically we want to put in a cable that is going to connect the battery to the controller that is going to be mounted on the dashboard so we're going to remove uh, these uh, uh, holders from both sides of the golf cart, these edges, I'm not sure what their name is. So there are screws, there are, I think four screws total, one, two, three, four, I hope you can see this screw. And I'm going to use a, a T45 bit to remove those. And again, you have to do it on both sides because what we really want to do is we, we want to remove this liner and get to the channel where we can put a, a channel, special channel uh, for uh, for cables we need to reach out to it to get to the dashboard from our battery compartment and this is the last one so um i'm going to replace actually this liner liner it's uh, um, quite old and uh, worn down so I'm going to uh, remove it completely and uh, to do that I need to remove uh, these uh, fasteners, there are a few of them here uh, along the uh, golf cart. Alright, uh, we just removed the floor liner and uh, here is the channel, a uh, kind of cable management channel that we were looking for. So, okay, we just removed the cup holder, uh, actually it had only three nuts, not four, uh, where I'm going to have uh, for, for uh, bolts is here. Uh, I'm going to remove this panel because I'm going to... Okay, we are pretty much done with this assembly um, that is needed uh, for uh, routing the cables and modifying the, uh, the, uh, the panel. Um, so as soon as we moved four bolts, uh, the whole uh, panel came out and actually front of the golf cart uh, cover also came out so now i have access to all the wiring and to the 
to, to all the um, uh, to the panel here and to to the channel. So basically, all I have to do now is to to put in a new wire 